while I'm waiting for the used eBay flywheel I thought that I should try to make a little bit better fixture for for the lathe and, and the flywheel so I turned this this down from a piece of uh, steel uh, that I have and tapered it uh, according to the taper inside here so now I have a, a perfect fit here I can just by 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 tighten it by hand and even no bolt it will not lose so so it's it's a good taper and um, I also had a hole inside here and so I can have a bolt and a washer um, to tighten it so this will be much more safe to hold it so I, w I wouldn't have to spend too much time to indicate it to, to get it um, get it right when I, when I check it up in the lathe today it's time to continuing with the lightening of the flywheel uh, this is the old one I kind of scrapped um, I've measured it so it's it's about 2.5 millimeters thick so I think that I can take off half of it so I will take half of it on this side and and I think half of it on this side too so it's a little bit rusty but ah, who cares it's just a flywheel uh, so I'm going to carefully set this up in the lathe I'm going to clean it a little bit first so I can uh, indicate it in a good way uh, and then I will start turning off there and now I want to take off one millimeter on this side of this emboss so now I reset everything um, I had to change tool to uh, right hand tool uh, to be able to uh, turn on this side uh, I checked everything so everything is clear so the shock won't uh, hit the, the slides or something like that um, so now we're going to take one millimeter on that side too. First I had to zero the tool.
pretty okay. Um, now it's pretty much to take a file on an emery cloth and make it smooth everywhere. And then it's finished and then we will weigh it and see how much it weighs. Um, I got away almost all of the <laughs> all the ships, uh, I think. Um, and it's time to weigh it and see uh, how much we got off from from the weight. So six hundred and thirty-three. It says. So let's say it's about eighty grams. Then we we got away from it. So. Um, was it worth it? Was it worth the the job? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, why did I do it? Because I can. Um, on a scooter, uh, the flywheel, if you lighten it, it doesn't doesn't really matter so much uh, because that. Um, because of that, that uh, everything. I mean, the time when when the engine rev up uh, is so um, short, and then when everything, uh, every when the CVT engage and and so on, there's a there's much more weight added to everything. And on a scooter, when it's tuned, when the CVT is tuned uh, correctly, you will have almost the same. Uh, RPM all over the uh, all the time. So when you lighten the the flywheel on a on a scooter, um, the only thing that happens is that you have a little 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 bit more uh, throttle response from 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 uh, from the beginning. Nothing else. Um, but um, everything counts, so maybe this will get a small improvement. I I really hoped for 200 grams, and I got 80. Um, so I don't I don't think that this is uh, anything I could recommend to anyone because I don't I don't actually I don't believe I will feel any difference at all. It's it's. Uh, it's to the change is too small. Anyway, that was uh, the project with the flywheel. Uh, so thanks for watching. <laughs>